if there is a positive test confirmed, there's three organizations to blame. And it's the it's the World Anti-Doping Agency, the Court of Arbitration of Sport, and IOC for not sanctioning Russia for four years. There was an opportunity here to send a message to ensure this never happens again. Uh, and they didn't do that. And the message it actually did send to all the athletes and to the the culture within Russia was nothing needs to change. And, um, you know, I've spoken to whistleblowers, former and current athletes from Russia, and they've said that you're either part of the system or you're out of the system. And when you're part of the system, you may be required to dope. So when you don't have a consequence to having institutionalized doping, and when you're not suspended for four years, there's no real need to change the system. And I feel sorry for the Russian athletes because they're stuck in this position. I feel sorry for all the athletes in Beijing because there's not a level playing field if you have a country coming in with that type of attitude. It's, it's very sad. And this is once again where there was an opportunity to send a clear message to Russia that doping wouldn't be accepted in any form of with any age um, if they would have been suspended. They should have been suspended in Rio. They should have been suspended in Pyeongchang. And they should have been spend it, suspended in China. Uh, and, and look, we're an athlete organization. We want to see every athlete competing. We want to advocate for athletes. But this is a glaring example of why Russia needed to be suspended. Because they needed to have a cultural change and, and embrace clean sport. Instead, they've just kind of made a mockery of the system. They're abusing athletes. And, and it's business as usual. And, you know, shame on the organizations, WADA, the IOC, and CAS for putting athletes in this position when they're under this type of, of, of leadership. They had a weak sanction after being played with nonstop and, and then went to the Court of Arbitration of Sport and not only did a weak sanction get weaker, it just became ridiculous where Russia now is is not sanctioned. They're just simply going through a rebranding exercise of these games. So I think the responsibility should be equally spread. I think the International Olympic Committee had close ties with Russia, which really put pressure on the World Anti-Doping Agency and by extension, the Court of Arbitration of Sport. So if you want to look at who, who had the most to lose, it was Russia. Who had the most to lose in sport was the IOC.